Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. This is a new kind of reading that I'm doing called uh, What's My Ex Up To? This is for all signs for you as a viewer, but it is going to be centered around if your ex is a Pisces. So if your ex is a Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus Pisces, that is the energy that I will be drawing in for this reading. If you enjoy it, make sure you um, let me know in the comment box because that is whether I will decide to keep doing it or not. So just let me know, yes or no. Um, if you want me to keep doing it, let me know if it resonated, whatever. Um, and make sure you like it as well if you enjoyed it because um, that is how I judge what order my videos come out in. So we will get started here. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for those who are dealing with an ex who is born under the sun sign, moon sign, rising, or Venus sign of Pisces. What are Pisces up to? All right. First card out is the night of, or the page of wands. Very dreamy. Well... Pisces might be stuck because they are taking forever to come out of the deck. There we go. The Knight of Cups. Pretty good start here. The Seven of Cups on the flip side. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Wow, guys. Uh, your Pisces is currently in the Hanging Man. Um, they are um, figuring things out. They're taking time to evaluate and re re I'm trying to get all the messages in the correct way so I'm not delivering an inaccurate message. So, um, you guys have the Knave of Wands, which is the uh, page in some decks, but uh, this, this person is very attractive, um, very alluring, very... Um, they're very confident. He's, sh or not he, but um, they, it can be male or female with it being general, but they're very sure of themselves. They're very, they have a lot of confidence in what they have to offer. Um, yeah, they're, they are so attractive. Yeah, they're, they're kind of socially awkward though. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, I'm seeing them socially awkward. 
this Pisces X though, they, they enjoy a challenge. They, um, they will work their way through any situation rather than just taking the easy way out. They will, they will do what they have to do to get things done. Um, yeah, at times this irritates you even. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this person has a lot of, um, I don't want to say admirers, but they have a lot of options. They have a lot of people that, um, are constantly, um, wanting their attention, but yeah, but he's only got eyes for one person. Um, He's offering, he's going to offer some sort of love to you. Um, he, in this card, you see how he's offering the cup to um, the constellation Orion. He's, he's leaving it up to the stars. He's leaving it up to the universe. Um, he's entrusting destiny and the stars to lead him to love. He is trusting the stars that they will align in the right order to bring you guys back together. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's, this person is also like, they like the thrill of a chase. Um, yeah. Yeah. He feels, though, however, he needs to prove himself to you. He needs to prove himself worthy of your love. Um, yeah. He feels like, or they feel like they have to prove their worthiness. And they may keep their guard up until they real, or until they um, come to the conclusion on whether you're in or out. Because right now they're unsure if you are um, wanting to move forward with them, but they're being enlightened. They, um, came into this situation, very confused this time of separation. They were very confused at, um, what to do, where to go, who to choose. But, um, as you see in the center there, the sun is there to light the way to brighten the path. So they know which way to go. And, that confusion is coming to an end. Um, they know where their passion lies. They know where they want to have a new beginning, a fresh start. Um, very, very hot and steamy. This, this person is just damn, um, explosive connection between the two of you. It's like a magnet being drawn to each other. But they're also a romantic. They also um, want to feel just as loved as they make you feel loved. And they're a little cautious about coming back towards you due to how uh, things left off in the past. Um, the next row, he has the Four of Cups. Um, on this side, you see he's sitting there mourning the loss of his cups. This side... The cups are all tipped over, but he don't care. He has hopped on that ship and he is moving forward to go after what he wants. He's going to go get um, his blessings. When you're standing on the shore waiting for the three of wands, that's him on that ship. That's that person. Um, so they're no longer uh, feeling lonely or... Um, or disappointed, they're, they're going to go make their dreams come true. They are going to move forward and offer you love. They are going to come towards you and let you know what it is that, that happened. Um, they, they fear you, um, thinking they're shallow, however, um, for some reason, but they're going to go ahead and do it anyways. They've, they've given their cup to the stars and trusting that, the universe will do their job to put you two back together. And, and when he did that, his path was enlightened. 
he was then um, shown or told the way to go to get to this Ten of Cups. And he's going to come make you an offer. And it's going to be the beautiful rainbow after the hell of a rainstorm you guys have been through. Um, just like any storm, there is a promise of a rainbow afterwards. And he feels you are his pot of gold um, there waiting for him. So he is going to move forward. And this is going to be such a beautiful, emotional um fulfilling relation relationship it's being that rose being clarified by the high priest or the emperor or yeah high priestess sorry um and it's also the number two in this deck which to me is duality uh yin and yang balancing out um spiritually guided the person this person this pisces they are very intuitive as well um have psychic abilities you could be as well, you watching this for your Pisces ex, but this is um, meant to be. This is from the heavens with the hype six and stack. She knows, uh, uh, she knows that and how to use it. So it's got me all with it. We're happy for the future, They're looking forward, looking ahead to many lifetimes together and and all the abundance that comes with it. Um, their next card is the Six of Wands on the back side. On this deck, on the front side, they're leaving, uh, you know, rough waters, hard times. On this side, they've arrived. They've made it through the rough sailing. They've made it through the tidal waves. They've made it through the uh, the heavy rain. The you know they've made it through everything, and you see them here arriving to their destination, arriving to a more harmonious union between the two of you. Yeah, there is some hurt still there. Yeah, some things still need talked about. But no matter what, they still both have their cup in hand and they are coming together into smoother waters. And your final card is they're throwing caution into the wind. Um, it's very important for them to take that leap and they're going to do it. Um, yeah. The fool is, you know, careless and, and at times reckless, but... Once in a while, having that kind of energy is good for you. Um, yeah, they're taking that leap. In the next couple of weeks, you will be having a uh, new beginning with this Pisces, for those of you that this um, resonates with. Uh, yeah, they just had to set out on their own journey um, to, to get all of... Their mother with. They know that they have the most love for you. They know you have the most love for them. They, I mean, there's just such a magnetic attraction, a physical attraction, emotional, spiritual, um, all of the above. And it won't be long before you guys are back in connection with um these pisces because this this group of people there's no doubt he they are coming towards you um they're just leaving it up to the stars the heavens um and your angel card that come out this relationship 
will ascend to a higher level of commitment when they come back because the attraction is so strong. You attract romantic love and this is like a romance magnet. Beautiful. For a lot of you, this is a twin flame. Um, like I said, leaving it up to the stars, leaving it up to destiny, offering their cup to the constellations and letting them align this 10 of cups, four of wands, um, love of a lifetime. So be patient with uh, my dear Pisces friends because they're going to take that leap. Um, this energy goes out for the next two week, two to four weeks. So, um, so they're going to be leaping very soon and coming towards you with a love offer before you know it. They are hopping ship here and setting out to find you. So, and with that, you'll get the Ace of Wands, Passion, Fire, um, Queen of It's just an amazing read for those of you watching for um, your ex Pisces. So make sure you guys comment down below if you want me to continue to um, read on um, the ex's energy. Uh, let me know if it resonated or not. Or, you know, down the road, I would like to know if if uh, if it that my predictions come true. Um, but no matter what, this Pisces is making huge strides during this energy, especially with the solar moon coming up, uh, or solar, uh, lunar, sorry, with the lunar eclipse coming up, um, big strides, big movement going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading for your ex Pisces, and I will see you next time. As always, I wish you love, light, and God bless your journey.